some opportunities to get into classrooms. And I'll talk about that in a little bit more uh, with the teachers, but the time we went into the classrooms really worked well. Especially since we introduced a new core program where we're trying to teach critical thinking skills. Some of these games in particular are excellent at demonstrating that. Because you teach them the games, you show them how to do it, and they're playing, they're playing, they're playing, they think they're having fun, and then they come back and realize, actually, I was learning about all about induction, which I didn't understand before in the class, but I do now, because it's just presented in a different way. So it really worked with the learners and the teachers. Well, they, were, they loved the idea. They were very supportive. They were very enthusiastic. Um, some Certainly so. And uh, I had some long conversations about this with them. And then crickets. Didn't hear back from them. They didn't approach me again, but that's fine. So, that's fine. We approached it before, se uh, before and uh, after school sessions, uh, breakfast bites, workshops, uh, staff room guerrilla marketing, where I just leave games in there with some simple, uh, some simple, um, uh, notes about how to play the game. Okay, I think I can do this. Crickets. <laughs> so, at the end of the term, this picks up a little bit because, of course, the curriculum is winding down. They want to give them something different to do, something a bit more relaxing. That's fine. I'll take that. That's okay. And so there's another opportunity there for me to go into the classrooms and present something, for example, in a math class a whole variety of games that emphasize really key math skills. And the reason when it comes to the teachers, and I didn't anticipate this in, in the beginning, was that they just don't have the time. And this is probably something that, um, that you know already, and I, I had to learn um, really slowly, but they just, um, they just want something quick. They want to tell you what they need, and then you just go into the classroom and do it. So I've had to be a lot more aggressive now when I've been doing that. So there are some particular barriers to all of these things that have prevented it being as effective as it could be. Um, firstly, you know, I mentioned the games like uh, Monopoly earlier, but well, there's a very common um, gaming mechanism in Monopoly and in similar games like that, where you just roll some dice and then you move a piece and then something happens. That doesn't exist in any of the games that I bought. It doesn't exist in modern board games at all, actually. It's very old hat to be doing a uh, type of gaming mechanism like that. So all these new things and playing styles, it's all new to them, and they didn't understand it. And that creates a barrier when they're trying to learn how to play it. And this is the big one. All right, one more minute, that's fine. Um, people do not like to read the rules, so it seems. They do not like it. And I'm not just talking about the kids. I mean, the kids especially, yeah. But adults really don't like to read the rules. And as a result of that, it's really up to them. It's really taken up a lot of my time. And I enjoy teaching it, so don't get me wrong. But it's taken up a lot of my time to actually teach people how to play the games. And I was a bit naive because I thought, OK, well, I just teach one person how to play it, and then I teach people, people. And then all of a sudden, everyone knows how to play it. That's just not the case that they go off and in their own social groups and then, and then that dies off so they now have to teach all, all other groups. So, you yeah, know, also an ongoing problem and uh, I'm not sure yet the best way to do it. And I'm not sure to what degree it is between these things, whether it's their ability or willingness, whether it's time or there's something else. Uh, and certainly that changes when, when you're talking about kids and adults. I would imagine that adults have the ability but I don't know for sure. <laughs> um, and yeah, there is the antithesis of trying to keep a reasonably quiet library while having children playing games, and that is a struggle in for itself. Um, and as my colleagues at the back there will tell you, it can get a bit roundy in that, but we've been able, successful kind of, in trying to maintain some sort of health and balance, where if you wanted to study in, in the um, in the library you could. But overall, this has taken a lot more of my time than I originally anticipated. I thought it would, I thought victories would be easier won. I was wrong. But I started, I've made progress. That's that. Where's the last?